Well, here we are. Getting ready to start a new job today. Um, I don't know if you saw in one of the earlier videos. I've been out, had a hip replacement. So, I am off the walker. And walking with a, a cane. And uh, going to therapy and doing pretty good. I mean, I can't complain. The Lord's blessed me on that. I'm, operation was great. Got a whole new full hip. Ball and socket. And my recovery has been really, really good. So I can't complain. We're going to be on this job today. Grayson took this job and did this while I was laid up for the last two and a half weeks. It's been two weeks and two days since I had my surgery. And uh, this was a job you notice we've been working on. And anyway, he wasn't able to do any video while I was laid up. But. You can see he got that cleared off, got all the trees pulled out. Most of the big stuff mulched up. There's a couple little brush piles there that are going to burn. Uh, now we're going to come back in with a tractor and a disc and disc this ground up and uh, get it ready for some seed. We're going to build a uh, barn back there. We're going to come back and do a pad for that and then put a road in. Grayson put this interest in, entrance in. We're going to Put a road in around here and down to the back there to uh, for the entrance into the horse barn. So we've still got a good bit of work to do here. Plus some more forestry mulching back in the back. He wants to put some trails in. But some more trails. But anyway, I'm just taking it easy here today. We're moving equipment over to a new job we're getting started on. And uh we got to cut an entrance in, put in, I don't know, a thousand foot of driveway. Not quite that much. I forget how much it is. But we'll start working on that today. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. And uh, so we'll see if we get the entrance in and the first culvert in today. It might be good. But like I say, I'm just going to take it easy. Take my time. Not get in a hurry. All I'm going to do is run that excavator today. So... That's going to be about it. But yeah, we've got a nice, nice 40 foot wide entrance here. And uh, anyway, waiting on the low boy. Clean these tracks off. Get this stuff ready to load up. And then we'll catch up with you at the other job. Got to load it up. Both machines getting their chain down. Give Clems a shout out. Well, here we are. Got on this job. Get this entrance started here. Okay. Looks like they might have the basement staked out of there. Dump truck 
perfect gravel. I told him, ask him to tailgate it out. He said, no, he didn't want to do that. And I said, all right, huh? Just you know, pull it out from underneath of it when you start dumping it. And then he gets out and hooks his chains. I said, I don't need you to hook the chain. He said, no, nah, it'll be okay. I said, well, set them as thick as you can. Anyway, he measures them off like he's spreading 57 or 21A or something. Anyway, he spread it up through there. And uh, I kept telling him to slow down. I kept telling him to slow down. And uh, anyway, when he got to the end, instead of dropping his bed and uh, backing back up here, he just put it in reverse and drove right on back, which is okay. But, you know, it made you know, a foot and a half of material. And then, of course, when he tried to leave, he got stuck. So we had to fiddle fool with that a little bit, but he's gone. This is all we're going to do today. We're going to get this back to these two trees here, get this straightened out. It's supposed to rain tomorrow real bad, like all night and all this stuff, so it probably won't work tomorrow. Which is fine. I can't do a whole lot in my leg anyway. I just sit in this excavator. It's about all I can do. Actually, it's about all I want to do. with a big rock on it, so we spread that down through there, got that rest of it, they just want six to eight inches of 21A, so we go through here with the excavator and kind of cut the grade and then uh, roll that fabric out, have them, you know, spread it, tailgate it or whatever, and then Grayson can come along and spread it out, and that'd be about it. But, Anyway, we got to start. We got a couple little snags here, but we got started anyway. And, you know, it looks pretty good, but they put a 15 inch pipe up here on the culvert. I don't know why, but, you know, um, should have been a 12 inch, I feel like, because there's no, you know, not a whole lot of transition between there and the road. And, uh, you know, the, the invert of the original ditch was such that, you know, if you put a 15 inch in there and just scrape the topsoil off, or not the topsoil, but just a sod, you know, you're already down below the invert of the ditch. And so, anyway, we laid it in there like the plans call for, but it only leaves us with a very little bit of 21A over top of it, which I don't like. Well, we're back out here today on the job, trying to get things going again. Had a lot of weather over the weekend. It looks like we had a lot, some storm damage here on the Porto poop. And then our big pipe blew over there. How that happened. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Well, we're going to get going here. See if we can't get some of this stripped off. We got some gravel heading this way in just a short time. Get our next pipe down here and get it across. Keep on going on up the hill here.
Well, we're getting there. Put the pipe in. Yeah, I got a pipe in there, but. Some gravel around it. It'll take a good bit of tailings. We're gonna run tailings through this little section. Build this up. We don't need that spread any thinner. We don't barely have enough gravel over top of the pipe as it is. trying to get this finished up today. Corey keeps jacking us up on jacking us up on stone. They don't know whether they can bring it or not. And, oh I tell you. Always something. Anyway. We're going up pretty good here. push it right on in there and then we'll cut that fabric off and he can pull straight in and we're going to need a little down in here too but
Yeah, we're gonna probably wrap this one up a little bit here. We're we're about done here. We're moving dirt that we, you know, topsoil we took out. We got our rip wrap and our outflows on our pipe. We got the brush pile piled up there in the back. We're gonna burn that and then dig a big hole and bury that and we'll be back to do the basement. So we'll be more a lot more coming on this guy. So y'all stay tuned. We got our whip wrap and our outflows here. We uh, just used this dirt up on the sides here. Since it had a pretty good drop off, we had to build this up. I don't know why they put a 24 inch culvert in that, but certainly didn't need that. And uh, so we just used this dirt up here on the edges. So we didn't have to move it. So it looks pretty good. And uh, we had a soft spot up here in the road. There must be a spring here. Obviously there's a spring house. And a wetlands but uh we had to dig a dig it out dug a bunch of mud out put some rip wrap in it put it back you know compact it back and we're all good to go it's like it's holding up pretty good so stay tuned i have to put that fence back up he likes to tear silk fence down for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. We appreciate it. So I'm four weeks into my hip surgery, so still got the cane. Going to therapy twice a week and uh, getting better. So a lot of people checking on me, praying for me, and we appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. God bless.